in this video, we'll try to understand some typical example on IC engine. So let us start with the problem statement. So a four cylinder four stroke engine having a size of 100 mm into 120 mm was tested at 1600 RPM and the readings which are obtained, which were obtained, they are written over here. So fuel consumption is 127 liters per minute. Specific gravity is 0 0.74. Then net load is 400 Newton. Dynamometer constant K is 20,380 and brake power in kilowatt is given as W, it is expressed in Newton, N is in RPM and K is the constant and calorific value of fuel is 44 megajoule per kg and we have to assume mechanical efficiency as 80% and we have to calculate brake thermal efficiency, then indicated thermal efficiency, BSFC and indicated mean effective pressure. Now the data which is given over here that we have written so diameter it is given as 100 mm so that we have converted into meter stroke length is also converted into meter so number of cylinders there are four it is a four stroke engine then rpm will convert that value into rps so divided by 60 so it is 26.6666 rps then the most important part over here is the volumetric flow rate that is given for the fuel so it is 0 0.27 liters per minute that is 0 0.27 into 10 h to minus 3 meter cube per minute. Now we have to convert this particular value in terms of mass of fuel in kg per second. So that is the important part. First we will convert this in per second. So meter cube per second. So we will convert this from meter cube per minute to meter cube per second. So we have divided by 60. We will write down the another data for the time being. This is also important parameter over here. Specific gravity it is 0 0.74. Load is 400 Newton. Constant dynamometer constant is 20,380. Calorific value is 44 megajoule per kg. So 44 into 10 raised to 3 kilojoule per kg. Mechanical efficiency is 80% that is 0 0.8. Now the most important part. Specific gravity of fuel is given by rho of fuel divided by rho of water. And rho of water is nothing but 1000. So we can say that it is 0 0.74 is equal to rho f divided by 1000. Or mass density of the fuel is 740 kg per meter cube. Now mass is equal to volume into density. So this volumetric flow rate is in meter cube per second and rho f is in kg per meter cube. So this is in kg per second. Now substitute the value. So vf already we are having in 4.5 into 10 to minus 6 and rho f is 740. So mass of fuel that we have obtained is 3.33 into 10 to minus 3 kg per second. Now we have to calculate brake thermal efficiency for that we will require brake power and the empirical relation for brake power is given as W into N divided by K. So substitute the value of W that is 400 N in RPM it is required so it is 1600 and K is 20,380 which is a constant for dynamometer. So brake power is 31.4033. Brake thermal efficiency is brake power divided by heat supplied. So Brake power is 31.4033, mass of fuel in kg per second is 3.33 into 10 raised to minus 3 and calorific value of fuel is given as 44 into 10 raised to 3 into 100. So it is 21.4327%. Now we have to calculate the indicated thermal efficiency over here. So for that we will use the mechanical efficiency which is given so that we can calculate indicated power which will be required for the calculation of indicated thermal efficiency. So indicated power will be equal to brake power divided by mechanical efficiency so 31.4033 divided by 0.8 will give the value of indicated power as 39.2541 and now indicated thermal efficiency is again output divided by input that is input power divided by heat supply so it is mf into cv and just substitute the values so that you will get the value of indicated thermal efficiency as 26.79% now we have to calculate brake specific fuel consumption. So the meaning of brake specific fuel consumption is amount of fuel required to develop unit brake power. So MF is 3.33 into 10 to minus 3. Brake power is 31.4033. So it is in kg per kilowatt second. Just multiply by 3600. So it will be kg per kilowatt hour. Now the most important part. Mass of fuel is in kg per second and brake power is in kilowatt. So this will be kg per kilowatt second. So this second will come in the denominator. So meaning of this is that amount of fuel required in kg in one second to develop one kilowatt brake power. 
so generally we express it in terms of kg per kilowatt hour so we have multiplied it by 3600 now to calculate the indicated mean effective pressure we are using the formula of indicated power so this is number of cylinders this is indicated mean effective pressure that is the average pressure during the four strokes that is suction compression expansion and exhaust area of the cylinder it is expressed in meter square stroke length is expressed in meter and number of working strokes performed by the engine they are expressed per second so this meter square will get cancel out so you'll have kilo newton meter per second that is nothing but kilo joule per second and joule per second is nothing but watt so this will be in kilowatt so newton meter is joule and kilo joule per second is nothing but kilowatt now substitute all these values so area first we'll calculate as pi by 4 d square so n is equal to n by 2 because in case of four stroke engine for every two revolution there is one working stroke so this will be per second we are calculating so n we have taken in rps over here so small n that is number of working stroke per second will be 26.66 divided by 2 that is 13.33 using these values we can easily find out the value of mean effective pressure that is pm or imep that is indicated power divided by x into a into l into n so indicated power is 39.2541 number of cylinder that is x that is 4 pm is 7.8539 into 10 raise to sorry area is 7.8539 into 10 raise to minus 3 l is 120 into 10 raise to minus 3 and number of working strokes per second they are 13.3353 so in this way we can calculate the indicated mean effective pressure thank you very much for watching